then. In this case, we, we bought more equipment, and of course the equipment went on the books. Oh, well, we could think about cash. Is cash affected? Yeah, cash is affected. I'm, we're going to credit cash, and that's going to be for the 43250. What did we buy? We bought equipment. So the equipment is an asset. It's going to go up with a debit. And it must have gone up with 113250. Note that, again, this already happened. This is in the books that we would see this journal entry in our books. And then the difference is going to be a long term notes payable. This is the part we financed. That's going to be the plug negative sum. We financed the 70,000. So now we got to think about, well, how are we going to make our adjustments in order to uh, fix our accounts over here? We know that this account down here, this number needs to go down to what we actually paid, which was this uh, 43,250. So we're going to have cash paid for purchase of equipment. It's going to be the 70,000. You can think of that as basically the net of these two adding up to the 70,000. And that is going to adjust this number here, this 113,250. So remember, we started at the 62,250. We adjusted it by 51. We are now going to adjust it by that 70. This was the purchase price, but we didn't pay that in cash. So I'm going to double click on that. Go to the end of it. 